Okay, so the first step to get started is we want to go to the collaborators page and set up or invite collaborators. Then we'll go over to the invite collaborator button. We'll just type a random name, Jeff. We'll put my email and then press save. So now Jeff will get a collaborator invite email to join my store and earn money from it. I've already got two examples that I set up earlier. What you want to do now, step two, is to attach Jeff to products and give him an earning. So we'll click on Jeff. We'll go down, click the connect to products button. And then for this example, we're going to connect them to a product called course. And let's connect them to the other one. We've got another one called t-shirt. So we'll connect them to two. And we'll assign him 50%. We'll press save. There you go. So you can see he's now connected to two products. You can edit the percentage to a flat fee or change the value, or you can delete him off the product here. And I also want to mention is the payout frequency and currency. So what you can do is you can change the frequency, so how often they'll be paid, or you can change the currency. So if he wants to be paid in US dollars, let's do that. Click update. Now that's set. So essentially that's all you need to do to set up a collaborator to the products. So the next thing now is I want to show you an order with Jeff. So we're going to go back to the store. We'll go to orders. Then we'll go to create order. Then we will attach both of those products. This works with variants as well, by the way. So you can attach them to different variants and earn from different variants. So as you can see, I've already set up the tax values on here. That works with any tax value in the world. So it just reads from Shopify's tax values. So then we're going to add some shipping as well. Custom, let's just say £1. Apply. Then we want to add a customer. Collect payment. Click it as mark as paid. This is just a test order, by the way. Create order. Um, okay, so now the order's being created. We can go back to Colab Pay, go to the orders page. And you'll see the new order here for £21. As you can see, we've got Jeff earning from two different products. You scroll down, you can see more of a breakdown of each product. As you can see, the shipping tax has been separated and moved to the shipping total. This is because Colab Pay can then distinguish the difference between the product tax and the shipping tax. So they keep them separated for the calculations. So you can see the product tax total of the order. One thing I want to mention is you can actually... Yeah, I'll open a new tab and I'll show you. You go to settings, go to account, and what you can see is you can set it so it can remove the tax amounts before the calculations take place, and you can also remove the shipping amounts before the calculations. This means that the store gets to keep the shipping and tax amounts to pay the authorities and the shipping fees. This is the most common setting that most stores will need. And then another thing I want to mention is the gateway costs. So every payment processor has a cost. You've got things like Shopify payments, you've got PayPal and so on. They all have roughly around two to 3% cost per transaction. And then they have an additional fee of like 30 cents or 20p, could be anything. At the moment for this example, I've set up one on here called Shopify payments. It shows manual here because I pressed create order in Shopify and I didn't actually follow through a payment processor. So this is for example purposes. You can actually set your own once you have your payment processor set up. Okay, so we'll go back to the order and you can see more of a breakdown. So Jeff will be earning 50% after the tax, the shipping, and the gateway costs have been removed from the total. So Jeff will only earn 50% on the profits. So that's the most fair way for a collaborator to earn from the products. Then the store can keep the rest of the money to pay the authorities and the fees, everything else. So it's quite straightforward, to be honest. That's as simple as it gets. Um, you can have as many collaborators as you want on a product. You can also have many integrations. So that means you can connect the Colab Pay account to other platforms such as WooCommerce and other ones when we get them going. And now the next step that I want to show you is going through the payouts. So if we go over to the payouts page, you'll see here I've already set up some examples. So active payout means that the, the payout's still active and whenever a new order comes in, that payout will still be logging loads of new orders. And when the payout frequency is done, so we set the frequency as one day for Jeff. So once the one day has passed, 
That active payout will be finalized and it will turn into a pending payout, which means no more orders will be added to it. Then obviously the next step is paid. I'll go in here to show you what it is. So here's one order I've done in this one. It's got two products, as you can see. He's getting paid out in US dollars. The store amount was in pounds. And um, you can also download a CSV if you want to use that for accountancy purposes. So we'll go back to payouts. We'll go to an active one. As you can see, the, currently it's only got one order in here. Um, the payout total, it's all self-explanatory really. And then more things you should be aware about, you can add an expense. So if you had some ads that you've done like Google ads or similar, you can go in here, Google ads, and you can write the cost of how much you want to deduct from his payout. So say it was $3, we'll save it. And there you go, it's minus $3 from his payout. So this will show in Jeff's collaborator account. So he's aware that there was a Google ads deduction. So that's most of the payout section for now. So one of the next things I want to explain to you is how payouts actually work. So there's two methods to pay out. You can mark the payout as paid. So I can click that, mark this payout as paid. Okay. And then now that payout is finalized and it's marked as paid in the system. And then you can go and now pay this total amount. So payout total, you can go and pay $6.18 in your own way. You can go to wise.com. You can do a bank transfer, whatever you've got for your business. Or you can set up automatic payouts by going to the settings page. Go to PayPal payouts. And what you can do is you can click login with PayPal. You simply go through the steps, connect PayPal to Collab Pay. And then you'll need to request the feature PayPal payouts. So this is a feature by PayPal, which allows apps to connect to your PayPal account and pay on your behalf. So to get PayPal payouts, what you need to do is actually contact PayPal and just ask them, can I please have PayPal payouts? And they will ask you why you just give them the valid reason and then they will give you it. So the way a payouts work is color pay never takes the money from you. All it does is initiate from your business PayPal account directly to the collaborator. So color pay doesn't take any fees. The money goes straight from you to the collaborators. What I'll do, I'll put an infographic on the screen now so you can see kind of how it works and a very simple overview of the workflow with a few collaborators. So it's quite straightforward. I want to show you another thing. Go to the products page. You can see here that you've got the products automatically import from your Shopify store. You can actually add collaborators here too. So if I want to add a different collaborator, I can go here, add a new collaborator. I can go in my drop down. Select this one. I could choose flat fee, let's say $5. So whenever this product sells, Will at Massive Monkey will earn $5 on every sale. To change the currency of this, you just need to go into the collaborator account and then change the currency that they want to be paid out in. So they'll earn a flat fee of that currency. So whenever this product sells, Jeff will earn 50% of the profits and Will will earn $5 flat fee. So in the meantime, while you're getting approved for PayPal payouts, you can just set up your collaborators, set their earnings, and you're ready to go. It's quite straightforward. If you ever get stuck with anything, just go to the settings page, go down to support, and then just type a message in the box here, explain as much detail as you can of what your problem is, and we'll get back to you as fast as we can. One of our goals is to just be rapid on support because there's nothing worse than running a business and waiting days for someone to get back to you. We're not about that. And that's everything. If you have any more questions, just drop us a message and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.